Well, hey little people, welcome back to the Warren Show. Today I got something somewhat special. This right here is a Comics Elite mystery box. Okay. Now this box is supposed to have uh, like one or two signed books in it. So, and oops. One of the things that I've been trying to do the last over the last year is getting more books signed. Either purchasing them signed or standing in line for them to get signed. Whatever. Love this. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, this is uh, Sunday night. About 11.30. For dinner, we had pizza. My mother didn't feel like cooking. I didn't feel like cooking. Well, I never really cook. Because, uh... I don't really cook. Do I know how to cook? The answer is yes. But do I really cook? The answer is no. Yeah. Big stack of books. This is a Comics Elite Summer Signature Series bundle. Oh, it was about $50. It was about $50. Hopefully you didn't see my... Hopefully you didn't see... You know, please, whatever you do, you know. You know, if you do decide to come to my house, make sure you buy... Make sure you bring dinner. You know, we like to eat. Okay. Well, let's see. This is going to be... Oh. Okay. Okay. So far, there's two signed books. And I, I don't remember the description of them. But there was at least one, two signed books and a ratio book. So, I looked at the backs. Didn't even see what the books was. One is a 1 in 25 ratio and there's two signed books. COAs. So if I do send those off for grading, oh, I do plan on sending some books off for grading. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet, which place I'm going to go. Um, one thing I do know is that the Motor City Comic Con is in October. I'll be on vacation. Hopefully I might be on vacation after that. Maybe, maybe not. But, uh, uh, talk to CGC and CBCS when they're there and see how how things work. Then I decide if I'm gonna send some books off. That's good. So let's see. Here's the first book. I have not seen this. You've seen this before. I did. So what we got. Wow. Batman eighty nine. This is a variant cover. A variant cover wow oh oh Batman 89 which is the Michael Keaton version movie version kind of one really nice that was pretty cool never seen that never seen that one Vampirella yeah that's a Perillo cover not a big Vampirella fan but hey comes in the books now some of you might be wondering why am I wearing my eyeglasses right now these are reading glasses sometimes I cannot read print and sometimes I cannot read print even on a computer you know far away it looks blurry so I'm wearing these now more often and I'm wearing these at work all the time too it's like uh but anyway 
This must be Dark Knights. I think this is either Dark Knights or that Steel. Dark Knights of Steel or mm, something to that effect. Carla Cohen, Dark Knights of Steel. Yep, variant cover. So this is their own special variant cover. Comics at least variant covers. Now one thing about it is that a show, a, a book, a book, a store can get their own exclusive variant, and that's what this is for Comics Elite. Technically, is it really worth anything? Not really. The racials are worth more than the exclusive, but it's kind of cool to have an exclusive. <laughs> Bang! Harley Quinn, number 12. Hmm, it's not bad. Amazing Spider-Man number three. Oh, it's a Perillo cover. No, Leon Gilk. Yeah. Let me see. Is this one of the books that I was meant to get but I never gotten? Comic Kingdom variant. You know what? No, I don't have this one. Be not, I'm not talking about just a variant. I don't even have the regular version of it because my comic book store got shorted. And if I don't realize it got shorted, I would have picked it up somewhere else. But you know how that is. Hulk vs. Thor Hammer of War. Tyler Kirkham version. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is a good one. I would love to see Tyler Kirkham in live in person because um, him, Leon Hook, and Perillo. I would love to get some of their books signed. Jennifer Blood. Dynamite. Okay, I'm not. Too, I mean, Dynamite Entertainment has been basically hit have certain things, but Jennifer Blood. This is a homage to uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't remember the actual issue, but I do remember this cover. Old school uh, Eric Lee, Eric uh, Eastman layered cover. So let's see. Dynamite Entertainment. Does it say anything? Now, I heard Jennifer Blood is a really cool book. I heard that. Doesn't tell me. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, 11 copy FOC is Sin of Virgin. No, this is not the Virgin cover. Uh, Turtles homage by Ken Hacer. Yeah. Like I said, it was like Raphael on one side, uh, Casey Jones on the other. It's a really cool book. If you ever... Here's the thing. If you're a tur Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtle fan, if you can get the Eastman Laird run of the book... The old school, the ones that got me to love the turtles before I ever watched the cartoon. I bought those, love the turtles even more because I know what they really was like. Avengers Forever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, not a big Avengers fan, but you know, hey. Is an Avengers book, right? Ooh, Thor number twenty-three, Carnage Forever. Hmm. 
Hey. Hmm. Yeah, never seen this version. But that's okay. So now, here we are at the 1 in 25 uh, ratio. Usually 1 in 25, basically, you know, if you understand the ratios, but from how I understand it, so for every certain menu of books, there's a issue ratio. There's a 1 in 10, 1 in 25, 1 in 50, 1 in 100. So, for example, for every 100 books you order, you get a, you know, you get like 1, 100, 250s, 425s, and 10, 10s. Assuming if that's how it works, but I believe that's how it sounds. That's how it was explained to me. But, and usually, 1 in 25s are usually easier to get than 1 in 50s or 1 in 100s, because that means the store had to order 100 books. Which not a lot of stores will do that. So let's see what we got. X. Oh. Oh. Ho 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 Good. X Deaths of Wolverine. 1 in 25. The last. The, uh, I think it was a mystery box I got from Comics Elite. Had the, one, the X Lives 1, 1 in 25 stands the Kai version. This one is. I, w I wanted to, actually I did want this I'm trying to remember who who drew it gosh <sighs> Ricky Yagawa is it Ricky or Richie Ricky Yagawa. Okay. Very good. I wanted this one. And I actually got it. That's a nice one. That's pretty nice. All right. So, there's two books left. And they're both signed. Certificate of Authenticity. So, let's see. What's the first one? I'm scared. I'm kind of nervous. Uh, is this a is this a Miko? Miko. Syrian, that's what it looks like. Now this is bad, freaking ass. I don't know what book this is, but this is—I don't want to take. See, the thing is, it has that little, you know, shiny thing tape on there. It's a certificate of authenticity. Now the funny thing about it is that, depending upon which place, if I go to CBCS or CGC, if, if I went to see, this gets a special. They said, "Oh, the signature is verified because of the COA, but we can't give you we can give you an off-brand grade on it because of that." CBCS said, "Yeah, this is it. Whatever." So, obviously, and if, especially if they didn't witness it, if they didn't witness it, when you got a COA, then it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. So, last one. Kind of nervous. Justice League, no justice. Ah, okay. Is this a is this Jay Lee? No, I don't know. Oh well, haven't figured it out. This FM on it, but this could be a J Lee, maybe. But anyway, that is it for today. And so far, you know, out of all the regular books, this Batman '89 number one, I think is pretty sweet. It's a pretty sweet variant right here. A 
of course, Amazing Spider-Man number three. This Banner of War was okay. But this Jennifer Blood, even though I don't really, I never read Jennifer Blood, but I love the, the turtle homage, which is really good. The store cards forever. It's pretty decent. You know, all all in all, for a good fifty dollars, this was actually a good damn deal right here. But you know, these, you know, when I, even though I might not like like this book right here, I might not like it, but it's signed. It's still, in my opinion, worth it. Because imagine this: imagine being able to get a signed book. Imagine that. It's very hard to do, and plus, comic creators are very hard to do things to get stuff signed by. I mean, it's not like you stalk them in their house and like, "Hey, sign my books." Nothing like that, but. Some people probably do do that, you know. Hey man, well, you're part of my gym club. Hey man, yeah, I got ten bucks for you to sign. Can you do it? I ain't buying. So it's kind of cool. All right. If you liked any of these books, let me know down below. If you know anything about some of these books that I don't know anything about, like if you think Vera Perilla is a good story to read, let me know. I kind of know the basics of it. Like she's like a space vampire kind of thing. Okay. I kind of still want to see that B movie. That's kind of funny. But if you thought any of these books was really cool, let me know down below. If you didn't, if you thought this was all garbage, let me know down below. Hey, what do you think about signed books? You know, especially if they're already witnessed, like the, like these. You know, if there are. You think that's in your opinion? You think that's really cool? You think that's not so cool? Or do you think it's worth it only if you saw them sign it yourself? Let me know down below, and I'll check you out in another video soon.